guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got home from a pretty long trip. I was away for about five days and I came home to a pile of boxes and two of them contained two different highlighters. So I thought I would just, I don't know, combine the two and just talk about both in one video. So I got the new Anastasia Amrezi highlighter collab. I don't know if they have a special name for this. I think it's just highlighter. Anastasia Amrezi. And I also purchased the Becca Sananas collaboration and this highlighter is called Parisian Lights. So I thought I would try both of these on for the first time with you and then, I don't know, maybe dig through my collection and see if we can find any other highlighters that I have that are like similar to either of these. So I thought that would be fun. So if you're interested in taking a closer look at either of these highlighters, then just keep on watching. All right, so I uh, literally, I just got home from the airport and uh, my husband actually had to go out. So I had a few quiet hours here at home before my week gets started. And I thought, let's, let's try and pump out some videos because I'm actually leaving town again on Wednesday of this week and thought maybe I should just try and pre-film some things, get some of these new releases out of the way and do some videos I've been meaning to do. Anyway, without any further ado, let's dig into these. I think I'm so excited for both of these. I think I'm going to try the Becca one first. So it comes in this really pretty box. It has this sort of like gradient, um, like spotlight effect here. This looks like Interesting. I don't know if this is um, Beautylish is doing, but the highlighter in here is actually wrapped up in black tissue paper, which is, I think, unusual. I think this is Beautylish is doing. So I ordered this off of Beautylish. I believe it's exclusive to their site. And oh, isn't this beautiful? So this is what the compact looks like. Typical Becca uh, round compact. It has like a matte chrome finish here and then like a shiny chrome finish. Uh, on the rest of the compact. This is limited edition, and from what I saw online, it is very, very close to what I saw on the Beautylish site. I don't feel like I'm surprised by the tone of this. If you can see it there the best, it has like a pinky tone, seems like it has a bit of a champagne undertone. So let me go ahead and swatch this. Feels like a typical Becca highlighter, very soft. And ooh, this looks pretty. So this has a very lovely golden sheen to it. It's not quite as pink as it looks in the pan, but very beautiful. There's definitely a lot of warmth there. So interesting. So let's take a look at what that looks like on my cheeks. I'm wondering if it's too uh, dark for me. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sonia G uh, Sculpt 3 brush. It's a little fan brush. I'm just gonna dip it into the compact here. Tap off the excess. Brush it right here. Whew. This is a very typical Becca highlighter. Very reflective, very, very metallic. The tone of this, again, while it looks very pink and peachy in the pan, I think it just comes off very, very warm. There's a little bit of pink in there, but not as much as I would expect by, uh, by looking at it. This is really nice. Oh, I like that. It's very, very warm. I thought maybe it was gonna be like one of those pink, kind of cool toned highlighters when I first saw it, but this is very, very warm. The, the golden kind of champagne undertones are, are what you see the most of. They aren't even, under, I don't know why I'm saying undertones. Um, they look like the undertones in the pan on the skin, very, very golden. All right, let's take a look at the Anastasia Amrezi. This is also limited edition. The packaging on this is a lot of fun. I don't know, I hope it's not reflecting too badly, but it is um, really pretty. It has all these stars all over it. This is beautiful. So the pan has like this wave effect embossed in there. So I have my Anastasia highlighter brush. This is the A23. I'm gonna go into this palette. This definitely seems like a, like a baked gelée type of formula there. Interesting. I don't know if you could see this on my brush. It's kind of coming off a little bit in, like, in bits. Let's see if that translates to something chunky on the skin. I don't think so. I think it's just this uh, formula, but let's see what happens. Ooh. As a, 
comparison, this is, I think, lighter in tone. It is also much wetter looking, which you guys know I like. Very, very wet looking. This is just very uh, metallic. This is very wet. I love Anastasia highlighters. Those glow kits, those original glow kits, oh my god, so good. Isn't that funny? This, um, the Anastasia one is much cooler and lighter than I thought. And from looking at uh, this pan, I thought it was just going to be really golden. I thought it was going to come off more like this. And this one I thought was going to be much cooler because of the, the pink in there. But this is much, much warmer than I thought. But these highlighters are very different. Very, very different in terms of the quality of them. I mean, they're both very high quality, but in terms of like the metallic quality of them, again, I feel like this is a very sort of like smooth, wet looking finish. And this is just very um, reflective, like very, very metallic. And then the tones are completely different. This is much icier. And then this one has uh, a lot more like warmth to it. This one seems to be like a big gelée. Um, and so I would definitely go in with a brush like their A23 with um, natural hair. It picks up the product really nicely. Um, the Becca, I think you can go in with any type of brush. It's a very soft powder. I think any, pretty much anything, like a synthetic will pick it up very nicely. And they're both really, really beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go digging in my collection and see if I can find anything that is similar to either of these. Okay, I just went down my <laughs> highlighter rabbit hole and I really couldn't find any highlighter that was similar to the Anastasia Amrizi in terms of tone. This is actually a pretty light colored highlighter for me. I didn't realize I had um, all the highlighters, even ones that I thought, I was like, that's lighter than this. They were actually warmer and a little bit deeper than this one. So let me go ahead and swatch a couple that are, I don't know, maybe they're close in tone, but they're definitely close in formula. I feel like they give the same kind of wet effect. So let me swatch the Amrizi up top here. So here it is on my finger, and I'm just going to swipe it up top here. So there's the Amrizi. So there are a couple with formulas that I thought were pretty similar. So I took out the um, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. Now this is limited edition, it came out last summer, and uh, I don't think you can get this anywhere, but they're coming out with a whole new Bronze Goddess line. It looks to be the same formula. The color may be different. So anyway, I thought I would just go ahead and swatch this for you, but that is the Bronze Goddess. And here it is next to the Amrezy. So do you see how they have a similar quality, but you can see how the Bronze Goddess is uh, much deeper. I also found it very similar to the Laura Mercier um, Face Illuminator. It's the one with uh, like little waves in here as well. So again, like none of these tones were quite right. This one is much more golden. This one has um, much more like peachiness to it. So let me go ahead and swatch this golden one. I think it's kind of the closest, but there is, sorry, I'm not giving you the finger. There is the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator. Swatch that below the Bronze Goddess. Let's see how much more deep it is than the Amrezy. Um, I also found it very similar to the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelato Swirl Face Illuminators. Uh, I have Gilded Honey, which, again, much deeper than the Amrezy but it has similar sort of reflective quality to it. So here is the Lord Geller Gilded Honey. So you can see that a lot of these are similar, but the Amrezy is uh, much, much lighter. And I'm also realizing that a lot of these that I found similar all have that baked gelée formula. So that's probably why they have a similar sort of uh, metallic effect. I also pulled out the Tom Ford Reflex Gilt. This one is not quite as close to these other ones, but similar, there's a similar quality. This one actually has a little bit more like shimmer in there. It's not quite as smooth as these others, which I was kind of surprised when I actually compared them. But there is the Reflex Gilt, and that is pretty deep compared to the Amrezy. I also have the Burberry uh, Fresh Glow Highlighter, and I have it in number four, Rose Gold. 
and again another baked gelée. This one I feel like if I had a different shade I could probably get something close to the Emerizi but this because it's rose gold is definitely a little bit off. So here is the Burberry. This one has like the most kind of peachiness to it. So those were the formulas I found in my collection that had the most similar effect to this Amrezia highlighter. Obviously, I can't find a shade that is light enough. So again, I'm really glad that I got this one. This is really, really pretty. So let me take these swatches off of my arm and we'll start over with the Becca Sananas collab and see if I have anything in my collection for that. I think I may have a bit more because again, it surprised me with um, how gold and champagne it is. So I will be right back with some comparison. All right, so same thing. I basically found a bunch of highlighters that I felt like had a very similar finish to the Becca one, but I couldn't find anything with a, like a dupe on the tone. So let me show you what I came across in my collection. So let me first um, swatch the, the Becca Parisian Lights one. Uh, here it is. And I'll just swipe that across the top there. It definitely swatches on my arm much pinker than I feel like it comes off on my cheek. On my cheek, I wonder if it's because it's like up next to my blush and maybe, I don't know, because it's like in close proximity to the blush, it doesn't look quite as pink because the blush is so much pinker. Anyway, this is what it looks like on my arm. So the one highlighter I found that seemed close in tone was the Laura Geller, um, the Beige Gelato Swirl, but in the Peach Glow. So that's what this looks like. It's the Peach Glow. And there is the Peach Glow right underneath. So I don't know if you can see, but in the Becca one, there's definitely much more of like a warm, golden, peachy kind of hue to it. And the peach glow is uh, has more of like a white gold kind of finish to it. But they have a similar kind of like undertone of that like peachy pink in there. So that was the closest I could find in terms of tone. The Chantecai Limited Edition Les Paillettes highlighter. This is the really pretty one that I think you can still find online and possibly in stores and I will definitely link to it if I can find it for you. If I mix the two, the tone is a little bit close. It's it's off. It's a little bit off, but the finish of this one is pretty similar. Let me see if I can get both kind of equal amounts there. And then here it is swatched underneath. So there's the Chantecaille uh, Les Paillettes. This I feel like has a finish. It's almost like kind of between the Becca and the Anastasia in terms of like wetness. So there's the Chantecaille. I also pulled out the Chanel um, Plissé Lumiere de Chanel. This um, is another one that is, you know, kind of close in finish. So there it is on my middle finger. And there it is swatched. So I feel like it gives off kind of like a similar reflective quality there. I also pulled out, now this is limited edition. I don't think you can find this anywhere, so I apologize. But this is the MAC Robert Lee Morris uh, collaboration. And this is, this is what they call their blush, but this is definitely a highlighter in the color peach. And this has a very similar quality to the Becca. I feel like this has the closest finish to the Becca one. So there is the Robert Lee Morris. And last but not least, I have the Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. I love this one. I feel like I could maybe get a similar tone if I kind of like, you know, mixed all of these together in a certain order, like one of those things. But anyway, I couldn't get it. I was like, you know, kind of mixing like these two and then these two. The tone is definitely different, but the finish is similar. And I think this is another one that maybe is kind of between the Becca and the Anastasia Amrezi because it does look, I think, a little bit wetter than the Amrezi, but similar. So those are my comparisons. I feel like these finishes are the same. The Laura Geller Peach Glow, I think, is the closest that I could get in terms of 
tone, but they're still different. They're still much more golden here. All right, so those are my um, comparisons to the new Anastasia Amrizi collab highlighter and the new Becca Sananas collab highlighter Parisian Lights. I hope you enjoy this video. Again, I have the um, Becca, no, I have the Anastasia Amrizi one on this cheek and the Becca Sananas one on this cheek. I really like them both. I find them both to be unique. I have a lot of highlighters. Obviously, I don't have every highlighter under the sun. If you guys have any dupes, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm just curious. I'm not really a dupe person. I always find it really difficult to find true dupes. You know, same color, same finish, same sort of like application. That to me is like a true dupe. And I, I don't know, I always find it very, very difficult to find them. But anyway, I hope you found the comparison swatches to be helpful for um, both highlighters. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And also don't forget to enter my giveaway, which closes uh, basically at the end of the day on March 4th, next Sunday. I will leave a link to that uh, down below. Just go ahead and click there. You just have to enter in your information really fast, really easy, and you just have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. That's the only thing you have to do to enter the giveaway. So anyway, thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you in my next video.